I really like it here, Mother. I'm not going to get into that again. I left London because there are a lot of people that do what I do there. I wish you weren't so far from England. Canada is a much bigger country. Lots of landscaping to be done. It's a no-brainer. Why did you have to move halfway across the world? I didn't leave you and Dad. It's just things are really taking off here. I bought a bigger house. Well, bigger by London standards. And it's just, well, spacious. Starting your own business from scratch in a new land is not easy. But things are really coming together, Mother. Well, that's good, dear. Brilliant. Well, are you going to stay there forever? I can't say that. But I can't see myself moving back to London anytime soon. My visa's for three years. And Catalina is working on our citizenship. The paperwork's in order. How is Kate? How is the baby coming along? She's great. It's looking good. We're still trying. We're talking to fertility specialists and doing a lot of research and all that stuff. Well, that's good, dear. It's time you two have children. It is. Very positive and things are looking good. Oh, Mum, Mother, I have to go. Another call. Okay, dear. I love you. Speak to you later. Okay. Yep. Love you too. Speak to you later. Bye. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi, Tor. Okay, so how do we do? You got an old bit. Apex on the country by a grand. What? No way a thousand dollars. They can't realistically pull that off. They'll, they'll be losing money. Well, they do. The management's happy. Sorry, Tor. They won't last. That's the way things go sometimes. He run his crew into the ground. I know. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. Look at that crew. Sorry, Tor. It's just business. Yeah, it sure is. Later. Bye-bye. How's Lillian and the kids? Good. She's working a ton now with the promotion and everything. Hardly see her. Money's good, though. Kids are good. Calm's growing like a weed. That kid eats like a horse. That's great. Liam's gonna be tall, I think. Which is strange, because... no one else in my family's tall. Brilliant. You're... very fortunate to have such a lovely family, mate. Those things were you and Kate? No, uh, we're still trying. And trying and trying. Kind of nervous, actually. Why? What if one of us is negative? Nonsense. You two will be fine. Well, she did get pregnant in the university. She miscarried, but that does tell me she can produce. So you think you're the weak link? Well, I wouldn't say that. But maybe the plumbing isn't up to snuff. Oh, well. I guess you'll find out tomorrow. I guess. I'm sure it's nothing. It'll be fine, you'll see. How's your day? Worrying as usual. You? Good. A lot of work. Sore, but good.
So, how'd it go? You've been quiet all morning. It's official. I am not having children. Really? Sailors can't pull up the mast. Now is not the time for jokes. Sorry, mate. Just trying to lighten the mood. No, don't bother. I'm depressed. I just can't fathom the thought of telling Kate. So don't. Delay it as long as you can. I'm not sure I can. She knows the results are back today. She's texted me five times already. Ooh, you can set my flat if you like. I can't do that. But maybe we can go to the pub after for a few pints, and I can drink myself stupid before I tell her. I'm in. And then she tells me to just go and have a whack. <laughs> then what did you do? She's not in the mood. Hands me a sports mag and says, go on now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then what did you do? I said, this won't work. Do you have a Victoria's Secret? <laughs> 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 then what did you do? She tore out the lingerie section of the Sears catalogue and went into the bar. Oh, I can't oh, right. That was horny. <laughs> Women, you love them and you hate them all at the same time. Oh, oh. lucky bastard. Oh, ah. Kate, okay. I'm in trouble. What'd you tell her? I'm working late. We better go then. Um, pay up. Where did you park the car? Ah, uh, fuck it, let's walk home. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. And good luck. Why you didn't bring me back? My battery died. I couldn't use it. Stop putting me on. You smell like booze. Had a rough day. I'm sorry. The test was negative then? Right, so. <sighs> Don't. We're going to Nance this weekend. Okay. We'll leave Friday and back Sunday. All right then. You know, left into town. No, we're good. I'll drive. Right? What's going on with you? What's going on in here? All right. Say bye to Daddy. Morning, mate. How's it going? Good. Master, I'm curious. What made you? I am unclear. I always wondered whether I was truly alone. 
I'm watching the telly. It's because of the bedroom, I'm horny. What's the point? Your pistol's empty. Yeah, but I'm still fully functional, you know, other than... Shooting blanks. Fine, be that way. I'm sorry, Han. I'm just very frustrated. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. No, you're right. I am shooting blanks and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. You're perfect the way you are. I take it back, okay? And your will is still working, right? Of course. Okay. I'll raise you to the bedroom. <laughs> Listen, I've got to go to the clinic, okay? So get tell her to drive the truck. When the voice turn up, go to the first site, okay? And I'll see you later on. Copy. your first time? <laughs> I come here every week, man. $50 for a mayo delivery. What's a mayo delivery? You know, a cup slap. You? Me what? Have you been here before? Me? No. <laughs> Not me. Never. I'll slay it all day for 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. 50. No brainer. Want to shoot one? Orgasms feel so much better. Like out of this world crazy. Like multiples, yo. Uh, nah. Nah, I'm good. Cheers. Tor lovers? We'll find you a similar match. You want a thoroughbred, a front runner, a winner. I'm sorry? Your child. Welcome to the new age. You get to pick. Thanks to technology, you can choose a boy or a girl. Not legally, but it can be done. Or maybe you want to be surprised. Something a little bit more traditional? You want to be surprised? What's your poison? Uh, um, I'll have a male, if I can choose. And if this works out, maybe a daughter next? Great. One male coming up. Hmm. First car ride. I'm Tor, your soon-to-be father. I wonder what kind of child you'll be. Will you be similar or completely opposite? Definitely gonna be a footballer, and not the North American version. Play the man you, Tottenham. Panama, if your mother has her way. That's it, then. That's our son. Yep. How do we know the donor was a good person? As in, like, not a psycho like your Aunt Carol. Well, there were a lot of dodgy people hanging about. What kind of weirdos? Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? We won't know he's a weirdo till he's born. We don't have to go through this if it makes you feel uncomfortable. No, I want to. It's just... Did they give you any details about the donor of this firm? No, strictly confidential. No, they can tell you the sex or whether it's healthy. Just can't stop thinking about this one guy. Druggy. Druggy? Yeah, he was a donor. He asked me to shoot up right there in the waiting room. Really? They let those types donate? Guess so. Nonsense. He won't be like that. 
hope you're right. He's gonna be our son. We'll teach him good manners. You are right. Okay, let's do it right now. Right now. Yes. <laughs> Did it come with directions? Um, I don't know. You have to check the inside. Mm, maybe a spoon? No, it has to be something that has some push to get it inside. What about my air gun? I don't want to get injured, honey. I can turn the pressure down. Nonsense. It will kill the seat. Okay, so it says here to keep a certain method. It actually has its own name. Hmm. Hmm. It's a common home method. Brilliant or cervical cap or diaphragm or whatever, but you have to purchase and or get it from a doctor. Let's use the turkey baster. It's in the cupboard. Okay. It just says it needs to be four inches long or longer by way of the range. Got it. Use a clean glass, baggy or condom, which we don't have. Right. Put it in a clean glass. Oh, it says optional. Found it. Use saline to help sperm into the syringe. My contact solution is saline. Okay, get it. Make sure it's preservative free. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, right. Preservatives. No preservatives. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Suck up the sperm. Coming. You need to ask the sperm bank for a method of throwing. Wait, it's frozen? Yeah, of course it is. It's always frozen. Oh. Throw it, put it in cold water. Self-throwing method number one. All right. What are you doing? Good. Just almost done. Hmm. Nah. Fuck this. Okay. Beef, poultry, vegetables. What's taking so long? Coming. Uh, reheat uh, frozen vegetables. Uh. It says don't use a mini baster. Uh, this is a pretty big base. We're good. Ah, gentle honey. Sorry. <sighs> What's at the end? Oh, it didn't all go in. Well, she put it in again. No, no, most of it went in. I think we're good. Put it in. No, no, most of it went in. I think we're okay. Keep your back arched. Just put the rest on your willy and stick it in me. What? I'm not putting somebody else's goop in my willy. That's disgusting. I will show you it's disgusting. It's not disgusting to put it in me, but to put it on the end of your willy is. <sighs> All right, I'll do it. Keep your back arched. 
Damn it! What? I dropped it on the floor. Well, pick it up. Hurry, you only have so much time. <sighs> Hurry oh, up. I can't I'm hold this miss. position all day. Oh. Shit. Here I come. Well, start popping then. All right, here I come. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, 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 that was great. I know. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna take a shower. That was great. So, when they came back, the prince and princess married each other, and they lived happily ever after. Good night. Get to sleep? Yep. It took five stories, but they're out now. You all right? You seem distant ever since we returned from the trip. Just a lot of thinking. Any thinking about meeting my cousin's friend for the job? The bank one? Yeah. I like what I do. I find peace in it. Just give it some more thought is all I'm saying. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Clean up the pond area. Lily and the kids are away for the weekend. We should go out on the piss. Where are they going? That arrived to visit her mother. She goes every year. Oh. So, we did it. The insemination, and? Well, we did it a fortnight ago, so we'll get it tested tonight and see how it went. Nice. Yeah. And there was a druggie in the waiting room. So what do you think the chances are baby will be born a druggie? In the waiting room? Yeah. Donors and receivers all wait in the same room, and this donor looked well dodgy. Mm, did he go in before or after you? He went after. Well, then you're fine. You don't have his sperm. I got the impression he does this a lot. So what if he went in earlier, and I got his sperm? I'm sure they get all types, and you'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> what? Check out this thing someone posted on my page. <laughs> Go on in. Replace one word in a TV show with cunt. <laughs> Post results below. Post one. <laughs> 60 second cunt. River cunts. SpongeBob square cunt. <laughs> chitty chitty cunt cunt. <laughs> See you later. Brilliant. See you, mate. What does that mean? What color is it supposed to be? Two blue lines is supposed to show if positive. Red, negative. Bollocks. I 
I'm sorry, Han. It's okay, let's do it again. It's a big process, you know? Going down there, doing the paperwork, and waiting. Yeah, I know, but what are the choices that we have? I'm thinking. Good night. Good night. All right. Here we go. So don't forget to do the dishes, clean the bathroom, cut the lawn. No problem, huh? What are my plans? Wash the sheets. You know how much I hate to come home to dirty sheets. Yes, hon. Good. Got it. Because it's Here important. We go. I'm going to be busy with Here the kids, and the last thing I want to come home Here to is a go. week's worth of cleaning. Yes, hon. All right. Truck, gas cards in the glove box, fill all the tanks. Can we get a coffee? Fifteen minutes, and please, no pot this time. I need you clear-headed for this next site. You know that's the first thing they're gonna do. Fucking potheads. Just can't find good help. Ah, uh, they're good guys. I know. Better than that crack we had last night. Oh, yeah, we got a bit of him. Fucking contract, right? I'll get the mowers in here and go all the way to the power lines. Rocco, can I ask you something? I promise you won't laugh. Shit. What would you say if, uh, well, what, what would? Hey, Tor, I'm finished whacking the weeds. Uh, jump on the mower and do along the back fence. All right. Um, 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 if one were to ask you. Yeah. Uh, um, well, your family is going away for the weekend. Sure, you can stay at my flat. No, no, that's not it. No, what? No. 
what, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to ask is, um, mm, I, um, what, what out. I, I haven't got all day. Well, I want you to put your sperm in Kate. I mean, I want to know if you would donate your sperm to Kate, seeing as you're able to procreate and I'm not. You want me to put my sperm in your wife? Sort of. Yeah. That's okay with you. I want to know if that's okay with you. Sure. I'll do it. You would. I mean, I mean, y y you know, you, you, you can think about it if you want. Take your time. Nothing to think about. You're my best mate. I'll do anything for you. Ah! ah splendid! Oh, you're a good mate. <laughs> can we do it this weekend? I don't want Lily to find out just yet because, you know, uh, uh, it'll be the perfect weekend, you know, with her being away and all. W what do you think? Sure. Uh, have you spoke to Kate about this? How does she feel about it? I get the impression she doesn't like me much. Oh, of course she does. She's just quiet. I know I haven't asked her yet. I only thought this this morning, so I'll ask her tonight. Sounds good. Cool. Hi, Han. Did you go back to the clinic today? Ah, uh, no, not yet. I've had an epiphany. A what? An epiphany. A great idea. I've been thinking. Uh-oh, your thinking make me nervous. <laughs> no, I've just had a better idea is all. <sighs> well, instead of, you know, going to a clinic and getting a specimen and not knowing who the donor was, we could... Uh, um, well, we could... Well, get on with it. We could ask... Uh, we could ask... Uh, we could have Rocco be the donor. Rocco? Your friend Rocco? The one that you work with? Yeah, that Rocco. I don't know about that. Why? Well, he's kind of... What? Well, he's not... He's not what? He looks like a mook, don't you think? What is that? A mook? Like, he seems slow. Dumb almost. Lento amor. He's not dumb or slow. He's a great guy. You just don't know him how I do. And it's okay with him? It's okay with his family? Yeah, seems to be. So, has he donated before? Nope. So, well, as long as it's okay with his family, and as long as it's okay with you... Splendid. That makes it so much easier. It won't be... Awkward at all. Okay, so when do we get his specimen? Ah, uh, that's the thing. Um, might be better if we do it the natural insemination way. What do you mean? To have sex with him? Well, not sex. Just the insertion part. Like, the launching part. Like he jerks it and inserts it? Something like that, yeah. Quick and easy. To avoid any of those, you know, insemination technicalities. Technicalities, like our sex life. Uh, bollocks. I went 12 to 14 minutes on more than one occasion, thank you very much. I stand corrected. It was almost 18 minutes a couple of days ago, actually. As long as it's okay with his family, his wife, Lily, is it? Uh, yeah, Lily. Uh, hmm, seems to be. Yeah, it sits for a good cause, so she's supporting him. Really? She's allowing her husband to do that? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm mm-hmm. Okay, then. As long as it's okay with his family. Okay, if you're okay with it. Are you okay with it? Um, it's, it's a, a tough decision. I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, um, it's for us. So, I'm okay with it. Okay, so when do we start? I was thinking this weekend. Is tomorrow too soon? Oh, okay. Um, oh, wow. Well, I'm going to go to the gym now. I'll see you in a few hours. Love you.
You don't have to do full makeup, Han. We can keep the lights out. Just wear the lips and eyes. I don't want to look like a hag. You don't. You're beautiful. Aww. Thanks, Han. He's here. Oh, hello, mate. I brought these. Oh, thank you. Come on in. Okay. Do you mind if we have a drink first? Let's get on with it then. Aye, Han, I want to drink more wine. No, no, look, look, if we have any more wine, the spends will be so plastered we won't better us from the journey. Okay, let's do this. Let me finish. Are you going to be in the room? Uh, sure, if that's all right. Where do you want me? Oh, where you are is fine. How do you want me? Like this? Um... I think the other way works best. Oh. Like this, maybe? Yeah, that should be good. Tar, can you get us a cup of tea? Sure, milk and sugar? Two milk, one sugar. Han? Thanks, Han. All done? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, all done. <sighs> yeah. So that's it then? You told me not to enjoy it, just in and out. No, no, no. Uh, you, thank you for being respectful. It's just quicker than I thought, that's all. Good tea. Right. I'm going home to watch some telly. Thanks, hon. All right, later, mate. See you Sunday for nine holes? Yeah, sounds good. Bye, Rocco. Bye, Kate. Hope it works out. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I just need to take a shower.
Mitch, that side looks good, mate. Get on with the weed in. Business is good, huh? Yeah, sure is. I've never focused so much on the business. It feels good. And I want to make sure we can take care of the child when he or she comes. Is that good? Well, we do another test in a couple of days. She thought she had morning sickness the other day, so... Looking pretty good. You? How's Lily? Uh, she's OK. She's on my back to make more money. No offense. None taken. She wants me to look at other avenues of employment. Like what? She wants me to be a banker. Says bankers make lots of money. I see. Seems to be all about money with her now. What about daddy's money? Is he cutting her off? I think that's where the pressure is coming from. He wants me to be something I'm not. Sorry to hear things aren't going well at home. How are the kids? Enroll them in boarding school. Says it will be good for them. Is daddy paying for that too? Yep. Wants them to have a better education than their father. He said that? Not in so many words, but I got the gist. All right, mate, this looks good. Amor, let's do something tonight. Wait, <laughs> you scared me. Sure, like where? I don't know, watch a movie, go for drinks, bowling maybe? Sure, sounds like fun. Okay. Love you. I'm reading, babe. What's wrong with you lately? You've been so uptight and uneasy. Sorry, just stressed with the new job hunt. Babe, you'd be so much happier if you don't have to work that shitty job. I like that shitty job. You'd be better at the bank job. You'll make more money. That's what this is to you, money. No, I'm just sick and tired of telling all my friends that you're... What? A what? You know, you cut people's grass. I'm a landscaper, there's no shame in that. Honey, the banker rolls off the tongue a lot easier, is all. Don't take offense, just accept it. Okay, I'll meet your cousin this week. Good night. I'll take the big truck. You take the green machine. Terry and Rob are going to be late. I'm going to go and pick up John. Okay. And I'll meet you at the site. Okay? Copy. Maybe I can get pregnant. You got tested, right? Yeah, but it was two years ago. Maybe you should get tested again.
Aha! Uh -huh. It says here, we have a better chance of conception if you're enjoying the intercourse. So, that's what we're doing wrong. Hey, hon. If you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. I just want to do it right. It's gonna work. It's gonna work this time. I couldn't have enjoyed it last night more. The baby's coming. Yeah. Well, I've gotta to go to work. Okay. And don't come back until you've thought about it. Mate, what happened? We're really late. Sorry, but I'm that. I have to quit, Tor. The worst maybe I don't. Do what you have to do, mate. I'll certainly miss you, though. You're my best worker. You're my best mate. I don't want to go. I don't want to be a banker. What do I know about stocks and bonds? Just study. Repetition, repetition. Is Kate doing well? I'm not pregnant. You want me to try again? Sure. Try again Friday. There's a coffee shop up here, we could grab some caffeine and chit chat. How long have you worked there? Nine years. And you just made securities? I was financial advisor for a while, but I didn't like it. So I got into stocks and bonds. Money's so, as a teller, what would I be doing? You came to a bank, haven't you? So you know the person you give your money to at the end of the queue, the lineup? Yeah. That's you. You're like a grocer, except you handle money instead of produce. So, when would I start? It's two weeks, so at the end of the month, if you like, I'll intro you to the manager. He loves me. He'll hire you just for knowing me. I'm like the lean reason of the place and all the girls will shag me. Look, I gotta get back. Come by next week and we'll get you oriented. So, how'd it go? I got the job. Hey, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess. When'd you start? Start next week. Wow, fast. Yep. Where's the other workers? I started a new contract. 15,000 quid. Nice! They're all the other site getting started. So we'll finish the leaf blown here. And we'll head on over there. Sounds good. <sighs> Mate, I'm so happy for you. Lily must be proud. Oh yeah, she's happy. Yeah, come here, you.
It's time for Daddy to have sex with Mommy. I'm exhausted. That's what you said last week. And the week before that. Tomorrow for sure, I promise. You alright? Yeah. Just tired. Long day. Sent the other workers to lunch. Thanks, mate. Everything's gone. She's still not pregnant. I just don't understand what we're doing wrong. I was certain I was going to work out this time. You can try reverse cowgirl if you like. <clears throat> it's all going to work out all right. You want me to get you a sandwich? All right. Yep. Yep. Today. Get better. I'll talk to you tomorrow, right? <laughs> Jen. What? Already? You cheated. I did you not. Play. You cheated. And you see those cards. Dealt. Well, you got me. I Let's had all go to the cards. then. Fine. Thanks, mate. I think this will work. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, 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 God, that's it, yeah. Oh, that's it. Bollocks. We could be endless Like the water flows to the sea And I'm feeling fearless Seamless As smooth as a ginger girl 
The results came back. The doctor looked at them yesterday. Your blood work was fantastic and you're in excellent health. There's no concerns in your clear ducts. Hey, okay. thanks doctor. Bye. The doctor called. It's not me. I think Rocco should go and get checked out. He's got two kids. I don't know, honey. His well must be dried up. I really have to go. I'm running late for my meeting, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Got the test back today. Still not pregnant. No, that sucks. Let's cancel this exercise. It's not working. I'm sorry, mate. Okay, mate. I'm sorry, mate. I tried. I even changed my diet and everything. I know. I know you did. I mean, maybe you should go get tested. I mean, I know you've got kids, but maybe the plumbing's not working on all cylinders anymore. Okay, mate. I'll see you tomorrow. Now we are helpless. There's nothing else we can do. Only each other. And I really want to see it through. And I'm not running. As we are becoming. So, I have your results. You're sterile. What? Sterile? Your submarine's unable to launch live torpedoes. Never has, never will. Really? But I've got two kids. I don't know what to say. According to this, it's just not possible. Have you ever considered a paternity test? Thank you, doctor. Don't go to work today. Let's just mm. stay home. It's bidding time. Your business is booming. We've got to hire more people. It's so busy. Well, that's good then, right? Oh, it's great. Well, it's good for when the little one arrives. I love you. I love you too. I'm going to go make breakfast, OK? Great job on the today, mate. Very artistic. Uh, thanks. Listen, uh, Tor, I need to tell you something. You got the results back? Yep. And? I'm sterile. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I let you shag my wife 60 or 70 times, and you're fucking telling me you're sterile? I didn't know. Honest! Oh, you stuck your thumb up her ass while you were giving it to her and everything! You're the one that told me to. You said she liked it. Fuck! Fuck it! I can't believe this fucking shit! Fuck you, wanker! Tits! Get out! 
You're not going to believe this. Rocco is sterile. He can't fucking have kids. He's worse off, actually. I've got a better chance of conceiving than he does. The doctor said his sperm are dead. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Goddamn right it's terrible. It's fucking rubbish. Our whole friendship based on lies. Oh, my God. Don't say that. He's being a good friend to you. Oh, what? what? You want to shag him again? Don't be ridiculous. All I'm saying is stop being selfish. I'm being selfish. I just shared my wife with my best friend. I'd say I'm pretty bloody generous, actually. Stop! Now listen to me. I'm listening. All I'm saying is think about this from his perspective. I am. He got his rocks off with my wife for a year and a half at my expense. And? Come on, you cannot be this stupid. Oh. Oh. That's right. His wife must have cheated. Exactly. Those kids are not his. You're right. There was something different about that tall kid. It didn't add up. <sighs> She's been lying to him all this time. Exactly. That's why you cannot be too hard on him. My God. He's been raising someone else's children. See? You need to talk to him. He may need you now. <sighs> I'll talk to him tomorrow. You're right, I am being selfish. And you didn't ask me to shag my wife for a child. I asked him. I was just upset. It took me 68 times to figure out he was sterile. I'm so stupid. 76 times, actually, according to the shark board. But who's counting? Whatever. I'm tired, I'm gonna hit the hay. Do you wanna do a quickie before bed? I'm horny. Oh, you little devil. I've raised a monster. A good monster, I hope. <laughs> yeah, best monster. You talked to her about it yet? Not yet. She's been out with her in-laws all day. What are you going to do? Confront her, see what she says. What about the kids? Who cares, it's not mine anyway. I'd like to find the bastard that did it. How are you going to do that? Her diary. She may lie to me, but this book holds the truth. Told me never to read it, it was just full of shite she would say. Well, not anymore. The gloves come off, as they say. Look at this. Dated three years ago, August. She's in Dartmouth visiting her mum. When she came back, wanted to have sex that night. So? We hadn't had sex in three months. Thought it a bit strange at the time. Wait, you went three months without having sex? Mate, you've got no idea. I've had more sex this past year than my entire marriage. What, shagging my wife? Of course. Oh, happy to be of assistance. No, wait. You don't understand. I was the king of my castle. She would want to shag. Sometimes I would, sometimes I wouldn't. She thought I was cheating the bitch. Well, you were, sort of. No, but she always had. I was like a desperate dog before king. She would use it against me, but then I wasn't desperate anymore. I bullet her. Why wasn't I wanting to shag? And her turning me down was like a routine, and you helped me break it. I had no idea what this was going on. You always seemed so happy. So sure, really, so wrapped up. Didn't realize until this moment. This past year's really opened my eyes. So are you still gonna quit then? Hell no. If you'll have me back, that is. Of course. You're my best worker. You're my best mate. Thanks, you too. You're my best mate. How are you? 
Yes, you fucking do. <laughs> no, seriously, you, you, you do. You really do. I'm gonna go home and deal with my problem. All right, later, mate. Right. How was the first day at work? I'm so happy for you. I postponed it a week. Why? The Callum and we and my kids. <laughs> what? What kind of question is that? Of course they are your kids. I got tested the other day. Turns out I'm sterile. I can't have kids. In fact, my sperm count's so low, I've never been able to produce children. Rocco. What? Quit it. What? You're scaring me. Are they mine? I deserve to know the truth. Rocco. Yes or no? No. Who's are they? The guy I met in Dartmouth. Visiting your mother? Oh, she knows too. Damn it! Rocco, I'm sorry. I am. I wish it hadn't happened. Give me his address. I'm not giving you his address. He has no part in this. No part in this? He shagged my wife! Fathered my children. Keep your voice down, they'll hear you. I don't care if they hear me! They didn't know. To them, you were their father. I'm leaving. That was some good sex last night. Sure was. What time will you be home tonight? For round two? About five. I will see you soon, okay? My conference is over at noon. I'll make us a special dinner. Are you coming back in? I have nothing to say. I need to talk to you. Okay, in a bit, bye. Okay. Don't get me started. I am so... You're just so wrong in every way. Are you picking them up or should I? They're staying the night at Nan's. You got a place yet? Or you're moving your things into storage? Got a flat in the North Shore. Two bedrooms so the kids can have a room. That's sweet of you to still want to be their father. I am their father. If not to tell them until they're older. I want them to feel normal. As normal as all this is. I understand. I'm sorry. I really am. Goodbye. Everything looks good. All your paperwork is in order. Oh, any specific race? Race is not important. Specific gender? Uh, gender is not important. Boy. Girl. Tor always wanted a footballer in the family. You know, you're a sweetheart and everything, but honestly, the girl is brilliant as well. 
All right, a boy it is then. Uh, okay, well, you know what? We have a perfect match. At the time you applied for the adoption, a newborn happened to come available, and I think he may suit your needs. Really? A newborn? Well, uh, he'll be a That's month fantastic. old, actually. I won't go into any specifics, but in two weeks' time, once his blood work and checkups have been completed, he could be yours. It's just that it's company policy not to divulge any information about our children, but, uh... You're in luck, so let's just leave it at that. That's fantastic. Can't wait. Great. So my assistant will be in touch once the documentation has been finalized, and then you can pick up your new baby boy. Now, there are a lot of policies that need to be followed once you've received your child. Regular visits from our professionals to be sure the child is integrating and fitting in with the family. Uh, your background checks have been all done, so I'm not worried about that. I just need you to know that there will be regular visits by our staff for the first two years. No problem. Not at all. You can visit as much as you like. Great. Well, that's all I'll need from you today, and I'll be in touch with some good news for you this week or next. Great. My assistant will show you out. Sure. Thank you, Thank you very so much. much. Ay, estoy feliz. I can't believe it. The chicken's almost done. <laughs> Here you go, mate. Hi, Rocco. Hey, Kate. Didn't recognize you with your clothes on. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I love you, mate. Oh, yeah, I love you too. Uh, so you got your sense of humor back? I do. I'm feeling better about things as the hours pass. I don't have to ask to go to the pub anymore. I can just go. No more bankers talk. And I have you to thank for that. Yeah, how so? Well, if it wasn't for you and Kate, I'd still be living a lie right now. Well, I know you do that for me, so you're welcome. He's a thinker. Look at that face. Look at Kate. I've never seen her so happy. She is happy. She's wanted this for a long time. What about you? What happened to Lily and the kids? Confronted her. She continued to deny it. I produced a diary. There's no hiding it. She finally admitted. Well, did she apologize at least? Sort of. She kind of felt sorry, but how could she not? She'd lied to me for three years. Well, four if you count the nine months she carried, but who's counting? A lie is a lie. Exactly. What about the kids? They need their father. Not my problem anymore. But they love you, man. You can't turn your back on them. Taking the piss. That one night stand is never going to be the twins' father. I got my own place. I'll take them on the weekends to start. That's brilliant. They look up to you, mate. To them, you're their father, and that's all that matters. Yeah, they're good kids. Even though they're not my own. Listen, I have a surprise for you. Oh, what? I'm thinking of making you a partner in the company. You know, so you can earn some more money. Look after the kids as a single parent. What? You magnificent bastard. Really, you do that for me? Of course, mate. My best worker. And my best mate. Oh, yeah. Love ya! Shit. <laughs> oh, enough! Oh, my fucking drink! <laughs> I take it he likes the news. I'll check the chicken. <laughs> Becoming too late to 
Oh, man. 